Hey everyone, and welcome to the tutorial series for the Procedural City Generator. In this initial video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, just a quick introduction and a project overview. Later on, we'll do a quick start guide that's going to be a fairly short video going through the entire process. I encourage you guys to look at that first to get a high level understanding of how everything works. And then later on, we'll be taking a look at specific tutorials, what I'm calling the deep dives into specific topics of your city. Here's what we're going to look at, how you can customize the settings, how you can add your own custom models, how you can change materials, how you can basically use the asset to its fullest. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into Unreal. And I am opening the project. You should see basically the exact same thing I see when you first open it. I purposely had this uh, assets level as the default level because you want to make sure that you uh, open the project and compile all of the shaders. I get this question a lot. When you first uh, open the project, it may take a while for the project to open. That is normal. Please be patient. As you can see, we have a lot of assets. Most of them are buildings that have been uh, made by community members. And that means that you need uh, you need to give the computer time to uh, compile all of the shaders. But once you're here, then it should be a lot easier to open the showcase level. And um, the next time you open the project, it'll be a lot quicker. So that's the first thing I'll say is please be patient uh, as things load and compile. Uh, if you want to just pause the video, just go ahead and wait until you can actually see the level and then you can move on. Uh, really quickly here, you should see a folder called Procedural City. That is the root folder. And then as my other projects, everything is organized, hopefully in a very intuitive way. The most important folder, of course, is the Blueprints folder. And you can see that we have a bunch of things here. Uh, one cool thing uh, that I would suggest is go ahead and click here on the PCG tutorial. This is just a very simple high level text tutorial that's going to give you an introduction to everything that there is to know about PCG. I'm not going to go through that now, but if you want, just click on the little play button here. And then really quickly, I want to give you a lay of the land. This folder buildings has all of the blueprints for all of the different buildings that will be spawning in your city, including the, the categories that come as commercial, industrial, residential, rural. Then we have a subway, which is a separate system and then all of the building interiors there. You have the characters folder, which is basically what you would expect. Here's the default player character. I left it as, as a third person character and a few additional pawns, as you can see here, that spawn inside the uh, police station as part of the dynamic uh, blueprints. City containers, these are just uh, blueprints that are used to organize your city. You're going to see in the next video when I start spawning things, how things are very, very much organized in a parent and child relationship. So something, for example, like city buildings, this will be the parent blueprint that holds all of the building blueprints. And that allows you to quickly collapse and expand uh, the different parts of your city. And it keeps everything really nicely organized here in your world outliner. Components, we have some components that are related to apex destruction. We'll look at that later, later on in the deep dives. Right now, this initial version is 422 to 425. So we are going to be using apex for the destruction. In the next version, 426, I'm going to be looking at uh, adding chaos. And I believe apex is no longer available. So we're going to have two different versions here. Um, so right now, because 426 has not released, we are only looking at Apex. Then you have this core folder, and here's where I have things like data tables, enums, interfaces, libraries, structures. By and large, you do not want to come here. These are all of the internals. Unless you really know what you're doing, I would suggest simply ignoring this folder right here. There's nothing here uh, that's you know kind of front end. Interface. This is going to be the unified UI that you open up to actually generate your city. I'm using editor scripting, and here are all of the different panels that are used, as you can see, individual panels that, are, that make that initial big interface. Then you have the folder main. 
these are really the biggest blueprints and the most important blueprints the bp city generator is kind of the main one this is the blueprint that will look at your road network and will actually spawn your buildings or props or foliage it will do a bunch of different things uh, road manager as it's, the name implies is the other really big one this is the blueprint in charge of actually generating your procedural road network um, by and large you don't have to worry about this you're going to be doing everything through the interface but there are some advanced settings that we can look at later on that you can only access when you come to the actual blueprint itself then you have some prefabs uh, and i have a, an airport prefab and a park fountain prefab there is a manual mode on the interface that allows you to quickly spawn prefabs so this is going to be one of those things where you can just create as many prefabs as you want for your city and then through the interface it'll be very very convenient for you to spawn them as you're customizing um, the city at the end then you have props things like doors the elevator and the road props very self-explanatory then we have the different kinds of roads you can see here that we have the kind of the more generic ones the highways the main roads minor roads and side roads and you have things like the crossroads the cool de sacs the roundabouts and the props then you have the showcase folder this is really not related to pcg this is uh just two things that i've added so when you're going around on your showcase level the little messages pop up as you're taking the guided tour you can uh, feel free to delete this folder if you want um, or you can use it for your own projects it's just a little trigger box and it appears uh, with a little message on the screen you have the sidewalks here um, this is one of those uh, I would consider beta features um, I'm gonna show you how to do that in one of the deep dives but this is one of those things that um, they're not fully tested yet um, you can go ahead and generate the sidewalk islands in between the rows and you'll see that uh, in a later video then we have some simple procedural buildings um, there's a specific zone in the city if you wanted to test this out for extreme performance this is a use case where you don't care about building interiors you just want a massive city where you can just go around these are basically cubes and they use a procedural texture to fake interiors um, this is really interesting you may want to look into that as well then we have some spawners these are for foliage and props again you will access these mostly through the unified interface but it's good to know that they're here then we have some vehicles we have a base class for a regular vehicle and we have the sedan this is going to be spawned as a random prop in your city and just for fun if you haven't been watching the videos i've decided to also add a helicopter blueprint and two airplanes the airbus and the cessna one big and one small these are by no means accurate flight models they're, they're basically very simple floating movement uh, blueprints but it just gives that that nice little extra touch i really wanted to include an airport in the city so i decided to make uh, some airplanes all right then we have some widgets again pretty self-explanatory things like the hut for the airplanes or the hut for the subway or the vehicles um, you know the vehicles will have uh, you know the speed the direction there's going to be a little compass there and some messages as far as uh, how to control them you can go ahead and open these and modify them uh, or just not use them all together and finally have the zones these are the different city zones that you can lay out in your city uh, by default i'm coming up with commercial industrial residential and rural these are the main uh, four zones that i that i consider kind of necessary you see that we have an additional zone for simple buildings those are the the non-interior buildings but you'll see in a later video where we can create as many custom zones as we want literally uh, dozens of zones if that's what you want and they'll all appear nicely in that interface and then if we go one step above that was all of the blueprints epic content again self-explanatory this is everything that that came from epic games including some of the meshes for interiors i'm going to quickly navigate here you can see i even labeled them here epic games uh, and these are going to be like the statues some of the interior things uh, and doors things that i'm using from epic um, that um, you're going to see as we are walking around our showcase city then we have the maps 
And by default, I have the level assets map. This is just a, a, a showcase of every single asset. And then the showcase level here. And then you have, again, materials, meshes, particles, sound, and textures. So really quickly, let's just go ahead and open the showcase level. And again, um, once you open this, uh, it may take a little while. You can see even in my computer, I've opened this before. It still takes a little bit of time. It's a medium-sized city. I configured the city to be very, very aggressive when it comes to customization and uh, performance. That was one of the suggestions that came back from Epic Games that um, if you have a really big city, depending on where you're looking at it, you may see some uh, frame rate drops. And the reason for that is because depending on where you're starting, if you stand right here, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, enable FPS. You can see that because I am trying to render the entire city, we are getting really, really bad FPS. And even when I go into game mode, now notice that the FPS jumps, but a lot of the city uh, assets are now gone. And that's because I am dynamically enabling and disabling them as the player moves around the city. So you can see here, things are appearing and disappearing. If I kind of uh, go up, you can see that things just go ahead and disappear. So that's basically uh, playing around with the max draw distance for a lot of these elements. Uh, by default, they are very, very aggressive on this level. Um, but I'm gonna show you later on when we're generating our own city uh, in the quick start guide, how you can quickly tweak those values on some of the main blueprints. And those should be uh, very easy to tune to your specs. Uh, you can see that I'm going, that I'm at the edge of the city and I'm getting pretty close to 120 FPS. So very, very good performance. And uh, as you follow the uh, arrows here, you'll see that we have some messages. So the idea would be here, uh, go ahead and follow the guided tour. As you're going around, you're going to get some messages on your left-hand side, as you see here. That should give you uh, kind of a good idea of what you can expect with this asset. And of course, uh, once you're done, you can go, go around and explore the entire city. I would still recommend that you follow the, um, the guided tour first. Uh, but as you can see, you can break from the tour at any time and go into a building and do whatever you want. It's a fully rendered city. I just decided to, um, to enable a little path. I just blocked myself there with the table. I just decided to enable, um, you know, a specific path. Um, and I would point out certain things as you're walking. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, on the next video, we're going to be doing a quick start guide. Uh, we're going to be creating a brand new level from scratch, and we're going to create our very first city. As you can see here, we have different zones, foliage, props, etc. We're going to be looking at the main UI and how things flow. And after that, then we're going to be taking a look at very, very specific things. So thank you guys so much. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put your, uh, your questions or comments uh, down in the video. I do have a very active Discord server where I, I am very active uh, and we have a lot of other community members. So if you haven't joined, I'm gonna leave a link in the description, join. Uh, there's a channel for the procedural city generator. Come give us your feedback ask questions and participate. And again, I want to reiterate what I said earlier. Um, I do consider this initial release to be early access. So I really want your feedback. Uh, I do have a, a roadmap planned uh, with a lot more features coming up. Uh, and a lot of those features come from your feedback from the community. So again, thank you so much for uh, purchasing the procedural city generator. I really hope you enjoy the series and you find this extremely useful. Uh, and yeah, come join us in Discord and let us know what you think. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video.